Voter identification laws have been controversial since Indiana became the first state to enact a strict photo ID law in 2006. In the U.S. The Supreme Court upholding Indiana's strict law requiring voters to show a picture ID before they can cast their ballots. Voting rights advocates typically oppose these types of requirements, arguing that they create unnecessary barriers to voting, especially for lower income voters and people of color. It can be very difficult for some individuals to get a, um, a, the kind of qualifying ID that a state requires in order to cast a ballot. Millions of Americans lack a form of photo ID, a government-issued a government form of photo ID. Some Democrats, like Joe Manchin, have advocated for some form of voter identification, like a utility bill, but not necessarily a government-issued photo ID, like a driver's license. And I've been working across the aisle with all the Republicans trying to get people to understand that that's the bedrock of our democracy. It may seem like a surprising concession on voter ID for a Democrat, but there's nuance in this discussion, and some Democratic figures are speaking up. I support voter identification. I reject restrictive voter identification designed to keep people out of the process. And I got to have uh, some kind of government-sponsored ID and you make me pay for it, that's a problem. And we've always been against that. We have never been against ID in yourself and you go vote. Even Obama has signaled his support. I think it's a common misperception that there's always been wholesale opposition to any and all kinds of voter identification or some sort of identification requirement. Essentially, with a host of other voting rights issues on the table, Democrats are willing to concede on the area of identification so long as what counts as identification is expanded. What should uh, raise some questions for Americans across the country is why would anyone want to make it more difficult to vote? Voter ID protections are supported by majorities of white Americans, black Americans, and Hispanic Americans. But President Biden calls these things, quote, a 21st century Jim Crow assault. Republicans generally opt for more stringent forms of ID, like a legal driver's license, to meet this burden of proof. Senate Republicans have signed their names in the ledger of history along Donald, alongside Donald Trump, the big lie, and voter suppression. Still, not all Democrats agree this is the right compromise. Within the Biden administration, Vice President Kamala Harris has been tasked with protecting voting rights. Of course people have to prove who they are but not in a way that makes it, them, it almost impossible for them to prove who they are. All of this debate surrounding voter IDs was reignited again following the 2020 election. And Republicans say these restrictive laws would prevent voter fraud, although there's little evidence that voter IDs are helpful in this way. There is no widespread problem of uh, uh, this kind of voter impersonation fraud. There's now some form of photo ID requirement in at least 18 states and the types of accepted IDs vary. To figure out if you need an ID before you vote, absentee or in person, which ones work and how to obtain one, check your state's election website. All in all, the fight over voting rights is drawn along party lines because it ultimately affects who can most easily cast their ballot and determine the next round of party gains and losses.